Hi everybody, this is Donna Lay from DonnaLay.com and I'm here to work with you on a really fun uh, technique that you could add to your Grand Tableau readings for your Lenormand deck. Now I happen to have here the Low Scarbeo Lenormand deck has its borders I trimmed with a little bit of glitter. But this is something after you've completed reading it, you've done all your knighting and your mirroring, mirroring you've read the corners together, whatever it is you want to do and you're done, try this every fourth card so one two three and then the fourth card you're going to take put it aside one two three fourth card put it aside one two three fourth card one two three four one two three four and you just keep going one two three So now you have missing cards. Now there's two things. You're gonna do something with these cards and you're gonna do something with these cards. Now you've already been reading cards side by side so it won't be anything new for these, this trio and this trio. But now this one is alone so it belongs here. So you can read these three together. Three and then these two. We're gonna need one more from the row beneath it that's solo. You can read those three and so on for the whole thing. So you've got a little bit more added here and you can roll this over into what's going to happen in the future to add more nuances to this and to this however you want to do it. Now you're left down here with nine cards. What are you going to do with these nine cards? You're going to have fun with them. So let me just move these out of the way for a minute and I'm going to show you what you're going to do. You're going to shuffle them up just for speed, and I only have one hand because one is holding a camera. You're going to put the cards down however they come up. So you shuffle them. This is the way I like to do it. There's different orders that people do these, and this just happens to be the order I like to put my nine card spreads down in. Some people go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever is good for you. And now what you've got is a little summary reading. So you can talk to them a little bit what these cards are. You've got yourself a nine card spread that you may be familiar with reading. The central card is a pivot. All the others go around it. You can mirror, you can do corners, everything like that. But now you should have a mini version of what you did in the Grand Tableau. And you'll be amazed by what you see come through in here that adds or confirms or validates what you just read. So try that at home with your Grand Tableau. Have fun.